Beautiful saints of God, welcome to this Eucharistic service. We are in the season of Epiphany, so you will see that the liturgical color is white. As we are in um, this lockdown period for the moment, we will be using the Eucharist to do spiritual communion. So number one, please make sure you have your offering ready, anything that you would like to give to the church. And also if you want a little bit of wine or um, wafers or perhaps just a little bit of juice if you're out of wine already and have that prepared and then we can begin we say together yours lord is the greatness the power the glory the splendor and the majesty for everything in heaven and on earth is yours all things come from you and of your own do we give you amen Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. For us it becomes the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. For us it becomes the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. We will be using the first Eucharistic prayer. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is indeed right. Our duty and our joy, Lord and Heavenly Father, God Almighty and Eternal, always to give you thanks through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. Because through him you have created everything from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you delivered us from the slavery of sin when you gave him to be born as man, to die on the cross and to rise again for us. Through him you claimed us as your own people when you enthroned him with you in heaven and through him sent out your Holy Spirit the giver of life. And now we give you thanks, because today you have gathered us together at this Eucharistic feast, so that we may be renewed in love, joy, and peace. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we acclaim you and declare the greatness of your glory. We praise you now and forever, saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hear us, Father, through your Son, our Lord. Accept our offering of thanks and praise and send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts of bread and wine so that they may be to us his body and his blood. For on the night that he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So too, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given you thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. And so we acclaim the victory of Christ. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Holy Father, with these gifts, 
we, your people, celebrate before you the one perfect sacrifice of Christ our Lord. He's rising from the dead and he's ascending to the glory of heaven. Gracious Lord, accept us in him, unworthy though we are, so that we who share in the body and blood of your Son may be made one with all your people of this and every age. Grant that as we await the coming of his kingdom, of Christ our Saviour, in the glory and triumph of his kingdom, we may daily grow into his likeness, with whom and in whom and through whom, by the power of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour be given to you, Almighty Father, by the whole company of earth and heaven, throughout all ages, now and forever. Amen. <laughs> As Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. My friends, the bread which we break, is it not a sharing of the body of Christ? We who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bear of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, give us peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. As we receive communion, we use the simple form of come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Let us give thanks to the Lord, for God is gracious. His mercy endures forever. Almighty and eternal God, we thank you for feeding us in these holy mysteries with the body and blood of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and for keeping us by your grace in the body of your Son, the company of all faithful people. Help us to persevere as living members of this holy fellowship and to grow in love and obedience according to your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we say together, Father Almighty, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice in Jesus Christ our Lord. 
Send us out into the world in the power of your Holy Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. And we pray for our continent. God, bless Africa. Protect our children. Transform our leaders. Heal our communities. Restore our dignity. And give us peace. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. And now, beautiful saints, go in peace. Go into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Fight the good fight of faith that you may finish your course with joy. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you and those you consider your enemies now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ.